Hey guys, Guy Rules here, and welcome to a new, most likely very short series, uh, Fairly Odd Parents Enter the Cleft. So a lot of people predicted that I would be playing Shadow Showdown next, because I just got done playing Break Into Rules, and while I have Shadow Showdown, and while Shadow Showdown will definitely be played at some point, I thought I'd mix things up a little bit and do a Game Boy Advance game that, I mean, it's not really related to Break Into Rules at all, but it's related to the Fairly Odd Parents. Obviously. And I have no idea what this game is like at all. Obviously, it's somewhat based upon comic books and, and the Crimson Chin, but uh, let's see. Tutorial new game. Oh, of course, there's a password system. Uh, let's check out the tutorial. Why not? Why not, right? Tutorial demo. Here's the basics on how to control cleft. Tutorial demo. See if you can get the hot dog from the kitchen. All right. I assume this is just like a 2D platformer, but I actually have... I don't know. Hmm. Press and hold the control pad up to look up, and then down to crouch. Press it left... To, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Up, down, even though the screen doesn't move here. Maybe it's just because we're in Timmy's room. Left and right. Got it. Tutorial 2. Tap the control pad left or right twice quickly to run. Okay. Press and hold the control pad up to climb up, and ladders and poles, and then down and down. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, okay. I didn't know there was a ladder in Timmy's house. Hey, it's uh, Vicky's dog. That episode just gets referenced a lot in video games, doesn't it? Tutorial 4, here comes Vicky and her pet dog. Press the B button to perform an attack. I'm gonna attack a dog? Oh, we're just spraying water. Okay. Well, water that may have killed it, but whatever. <laughs> to attack enemies on the ground, first hold the control pad down to crouch, then press the B button to attack. To attack enemies above you, press the A button to jump, and then the B button. Okay, so, yeah. I don't really, I shoot water out my wrist, I guess? Uh, is that based on an episode? I'm not quite sure. This is the classic Turner fireplace. Here's the refrigerator with a crown on it. Timmy looks very concerned there. Oh, sorry, Cleft. It, there's no Timmy in this game. It is Cleft, the boy chin wonder. What is he wondering about? I don't know. Try getting the hot dog by running and then jumping. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Sweet. That's how you control Cleft. Tutorial clear. It's a very fast tutorial. Very to the point. I like it. I like it. Okay. This is like... I don't know, weirdly dramatic music. Alright. Episode 1-1, one, 1-2, one, 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 Okay, so I could select any of the... Well, I mean, I suppose it makes sense to just go in order. Prologue. Everyone has dreamed about becoming the star of... A TV show or comic book. Timmy is no exception. Well, I mean, Timmy already is the star of one. He has always wanted to be like his favorite comic book hero. The Crimson Chin. I wish I could meet the Crimson Chin and become as strong as him. I wonder if I can change the scroll to be faster. Whoa, look at that. That's some, that's some cool looking effect right there. Um, well, all right, Timmy. Let's enter the comic book world. <laughs> Cosmo and Wanda's eyes are like huge. Uh, watch me use my magic on this comic book. Cosmo Wanda. Jump in the light beam, Timmy. Wow, I really am inside a comic book. Thank you, Cosmo and Wanda. This is cool. <laughs> Alright. It's a little robotic way of talking, but sure. Stage 1-1. One, one. Start! Very comic booky looking. Oh, and it's the it's the Barnstormer, or whatever his name was. Okay, so crown or uh, magic wands are like the crowns. Wow, there's multiple of that enemy? And I didn't mute my phone. Whoops! Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could even hear that. I'm digging the aesthetics, though. Like, looks really cool. It's a spatula person. God, just throws exploding pigs at you. Okay, so definitely doesn't really look like a platformer so much as a... Uh, what do you call this sort of game? An action game, I guess? Like an action side-scroller? 
shooter? Not really a shooter. Uh, oh, I can climb up the pipe probably, right? Yeah. Neat. Reminds me of, um, oh, what's that game for the, the Turbo Graphics? Comic Zone? Something like that. I had that on the Wii. Okay, so I see I have a health bar up there. Ow! Pretty, pretty mundane so far. Get to a panel, kill an enemy, get to the next panel. But we're only at the start. Who is this guy? He kind of looked like the fat Crimson Chin. Or whatever the Crimson Chin's real name was. I, I forget. It's like, uh... Ch Chimothy Chinson or something. <laughs> something really... Oh, God. Really obvious like that. Hey, it's Cosmo and Wanda. What are you guys doing here? I didn't wish you guys could be a part of my... Oh, an item shop. Oh, so the... Okay. The wands actually do something. They're not just, like, collect 100 and get a 1-up. Well, I guess you could collect 80 and get a 1-up if you wanted. The number of times... Number of times... Oh, it'll show me how many times I've bought this. Oh, well, we have 43, so let's buy... Let's see what the gyro... Wait, explanation. Oh, it looks like a, uh... Timmy's little helicopter thing. Explanation. You can move in the sky. <laughs> Alright, let's buy it. Okay. The number of times 10. So how do I... I should have looked at the explanation. Um... Uh... Well, you know, that's this is a way to do that, and I don't know how. <laughs> it's not A, it's not A twice, it's not B, it's not... Oh, okay, it's, uh, hold R. Oh, I only have... Oh, God. Does that reset? No, it doesn't. Wow, that's a very limited power. I guess that's why it lets you buy more. Oh, and now I have a fist power up. Okay. Ooh. Crimson Chin, enter the fist. That's a very limited range, though. Take that, not Chin. Dance, Timmy, dance! While we wait for this platform here. I'll tell you, this uh, this game is more. Oh God, this game is more colorful than. Excuse me, than Break Into Rules. Or actually, maybe not. No, it looks about as monochromatic. Never mind. Do I? Oh God. Oh. Is it just a shortcut? I should have used my helicopter thing. Okay, yeah, it's just a shortcut. I lost nothing at all by coming down here. Fair enough. Can I go in there? I can. Oh, neat. Not super linear. Oh god. Hey, take that dog. That's what you get for defending your house from a burglar who wants to steal your sandwich. Oh god, I thought the Oh, I thought I could walk on the panel there. Guess not. Oh god. So what is the what what is what am I trying to achieve here even? I I'm not really sure. I mean, not dying would be a good ach Ooh, god. Yeah. Would be an achievement I failed at. I remember Spatula Woman to be hotter in the in the Break Into Rules game. Maybe this is one of her henchmen. That would probably make more sense. I don't... Oh, God. Timmy can't swim. Alright. Sorry, Cleft. Cleft can't... Oh, nope, nope. Didn't want to do that. Although, actually, I could use those crowns. I'm not gonna lie. Ow, ow, ow. Was it worth taking the hits? Uh, or, I guess just one hit. I don't know. I don't know... Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> hey man, I paid for it. I might as well use it. Oh god, is this gonna Yep. <laughs> it just ran out immediately. Where do I continue from? Oh, the very start. Huh. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to just play well. But now that I now that I understand how to play the game a little better, I think I'll do just fine here. So yeah, it really does reset me to start, and I didn't see any password yet. Oh god. So I probably only get them after completing a stage, maybe? Ew. Like I said in when I played the, uh, the uh, Super Sponge, I I'm gonna do my best to beat these games, these Game, game Boy Advance ones, but some of them might just be too hard for me. <laughs> Which, I know that sounds lame, but like, I'm gonna do my best, of course. And I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna sit here for for like ten hours trying to grind out in a game that's that may not be entirely fair or or just even at my skill level. 
Because some games like this, like, it depends on the mechanics, really, but they can be really unforgiving, depending on where they place you when you die, like, putting you all the way back at the start, like this one did. Um, could really do a number on you. And just be... It, it's not even that it's, like, the hardest thing in the world, it's just that it's very difficult to retry, so it's very... Oh, God. It's very discouraging, you know? Okay. Oh, God. So, when I lose a life, I start at the entrance to the area, but if I if I have to get a game over, I start at the very start. Okay. And right now, all I can do is this little B attack, which it... I wish it just had a little more range, but I'm glad there are upgrades in this game. Speaking of uh, Super Sponge, someone told me that the reason the enemies were respawning on me was because I didn't kill them. Like the, the eel enemies that charged at me, it's because they charged at me and I let them go past me, but I didn't kill them. If I had killed them, they wouldn't have respawned, so that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't entirely make sense, but you know, it makes sense from a gameplay perspective. Excuse me. Thank you. Perspective. All right. Um, should I buy... Is there anything that's, like, permanent? Well, there's a one up, but I don't have enough for it. Power recovery. No idea. I guess we'll just... We'll see what the other ones do. Megaphone. Explanation. Attack the enemy with a big shout. Oh, I get to do a ghostly wail. The air from the sound will blow the enemy away. Got it. And then the action, I, I assume... Oh, it just shows me what it looks like. But it doesn't let me, like, test it. Okay, whatever. Let's buy it. I'm pretty sure he has the megaphone. I think, actually, the megaphone and the, um... The propeller thing are both from directly out of the show. Pretty sure. He's got, like, a little button on his chin and he presses it and just, like... Magical things happen. Which I guess is an accurate description because his powers are based upon fairy magic. Yeah, I don't really know what the point of running is when, like, there are enemies every two feet, you know? I guess I could just do that. That works. Okay. Um. Woohoo! Ooh. Oh, yeah, right there's where I fell. That's right. There doesn't seem to be any falling damage. Yoink. Ha. And I did it without killing the dog. Okay, so I... Hmm. Yeah, I didn't come over here before. Is there anything... Is there any other open windows, maybe? Oh, yes, there is. I'm the open window maniac. Oh, crud. I mean, to be fair, this enemy's just in, in their house, just, like, minding their own business. Ooh. Okay. What is... Ah, what the... Alright. Oh, hey, Cosmo and Wanda. Um, I was gonna say, I don't think I have enough wands now, but I do. So I could theoretically buy maybe like 10 more of those. I'm not going to. But, and then... But if I buy another one of these, it'll probably override my... My megaphone? Let's see. Let's buy a baseball bat. And then, let's go back. And then let's see, maybe L switches between weapons, right? Yeah, it does. Cool. Okay. And right now I have this weird bubblegum power. Didn't really expect that <laughs> uh, that picture to be haunted, but what can you do? Oh, God, I wanted that Wanda token. Get out of here, dog. I don't think... I don't know if there's a way to get back up. <laughs> oh, that gum's not coming out of those undies. Okay, so here's yeah, here's where like looking up and down could come in handy a little bit, right? Yeah, it does it does move the camera. It just takes a minute. Okay. And if I go here, yeah, Timmy does seem to have a whoa god a substantial ju substantial jump. Oh, it makes me invincible. Okay, and it sticks with me. Sweet. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh, okay. You die. Oh, I lost my bubble gum. It's alright. It didn't seem to really be that much more or less powerful than what I already have. <laughs> Looks like we're in the park in Cincinnati, I guess? <laughs> hey. What is the, the name of this guy? It's like the bronze kneecap or something, I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. Why is he throwing popcorn at me? And I'm gonna die. But I have lives. Oh, hey! 
How you doing, Crimson Chin? I'm the Crimson Chin! Hey, kid, what's your name? Uh, my name is Stage Clear. <laughs> uh, I like how Timmy was doing his little cosplay thing without even getting the approval of the chin. Jeez. Hey, there's the Crimson Chin. Now he's, now he's flying away from Timmy after saying hi. Someone needs my help. I must go. Wait, I wish I could have talked to my hero. Uh-oh. No. So do I don't get like a, a check mark or anything next to the level that I cleared it? Really? Password. So this show, okay, this shows me the password. Does that show me the password that I have? So barn, Wanda, Vicky, Vicky, uh, spatula lady. And then barn, Wanda. Yeah, okay, so that that is where I'm at right now. Okay. Luckily, I don't actually have to write this down because I could always just look back at my recording. But yeah, that's that's always a pain, especially with this sort of password system, like, Okay, yeah, it's cute that you're using characters' heads, but, like, what am I going to do? Draw the heads or, um, you know, write, like, V for Vicky or something, and then have to remember in, if, if there's, like, another character that has a V or something? You know, it's it's a little weird. And I don't, I don't really know the name of Spatula Woman. I, I, it might be Spatula Woman. It might not be. That's, what I, that's just what I call her. Um, or, you know, we got that kind of first name, weird nickname basis, so... <laughs> She'll always be special. Oh god. She'll always be special woman to me. Alright. Timmy, can you can you wish that you could swim? <laughs> like that would be a good wish to, to make. Oh no, you see, Vicky loves that Timmy can't wi can't swim, so so uh, Timmy can't wish that. Or no no, Timmy can wish things related to love, he just can't unwish them. Fair enough. Alright. Woo! Alright, uh, oh god, it's a lot of angry dogs in the park today. Man, I, I, oh, didn't see that coming. Well, at least we're near the start. I remember my favorite issue of, uh, of Spider-Man, where Spider-Man's fighting off a bunch of dogs and he falls in water and dies. It's, it's the best issue, really. <laughs> and then Doc Ock becomes Spider-Man. And then, uh, oh gosh, Spider-Man comes back as Spider-Man. And then there's, like... Other spider man I don't know. <laughs> I read comics for a little while. I don't at the moment. Comic books are just they're just too expensive, man. Like for the amount of entertainment I get, it's not worth it. Like for what is it? Like three ninety nine, four ninety nine, something like that. I could I could just buy like for two issues of a comic book, I could like buy a whole season of TV sh uh, of a TV show on iTunes, or I could. I could pay for a whole month of Netflix, you know, with, with two or three comics. It's like, sorry, but Netflix is going to give me so much more entertainment. I mean, it's why, uh, what does it do with this? Can I break that? Oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why I stopped reading comics, honestly. Oh, it's a hamster. Okay. I wonder if it's an undead one that Timmy's mom brought back to life. I forgot to mention that episode, I think, when I was talking about breaking the rules. Not that it was referenced in the game, but that is another memorable episode. <laughs> Everything I touch dies! <laughs> and then everyone steps away from her. <laughs> um, I would like that sandwich before we go down. Oh, God! You gotta have your protein, you know, before you go spelunking in the sewers. But yeah, trade paper... Oh, God. If you're interested in comic books, but you don't want to pay the price, trade, trade paperbacks are where it's at. Uh, what's over to the left, then? Well, I guess we'll see what's in here first. Cosmo. Sweet. Take that, dog. But yeah, trade paperbacks, if you don't know, they're basically just, um... It's like a compilation of comics in, like, a book, and you can find them in your comic section at, uh, Barnes & Noble. And it's like, it's like 20 bucks, but you get what is the equivalent of, like... I mean, depending on what trade paperback you get, you might be getting the equivalent of... You know, five comics, you might be getting the equivalent of 20 comics, you know, and it's obviously more economic to do that than get individual issues. And then, like, what do you do with individual issues of comics, right? I I have, like, because there was a, it was probably like a three or four year period of my life in, I want to say high school, 
maybe between middle school and high school. So, you know, half in middle school, half in high school. Oh, I do have a charge attack. I wonder if that's from something I picked up or, uh, anyway, or if I just have that naturally. But, oh, and I should use the megaphone at some point. Ow, let's see. Um, do I, oh, okay, I send it out and then I press B. <laughs> What's that sound? Gugh. All right, put it back. Put that away, Timmy. Um, but yeah, there was a period which I collected comics. Well, I didn't collect comics. I just read comics. And then I kept them, and like now I just have a box full of comics. And like I, like, I keep telling myself I'd like to reread them someday, but I don't know if that's ever going to be a reality. And like trade paperback books, like those are easy to store. They're books. Get a bookshelf, you know, throw them, throw them in the back of your closet, whatever. They're not going to like bend and fold and be unreadable. Uh, they're, they're just, they're fine. They're books. They're either soft cover or hard cover. Uh, so that's kind of my MO. I, I, every so often I'll get a trade paperback, but I, I don't buy comics anymore because it's just, it's annoying to store, too expensive, and you don't get, the other thing is that you don't get a full, oh god, you don't get a full story a lot of the times. And I mean, like, look, comic books are ongoing, so you, I don't expect to get, like, a full, full story, but, like, I think each, each issue should be at least, like, a full chapter. There should be, like, a beginning, middle, and end, you know? Uh, even if it's, like, a mini beginning and a mini end. Like, a, a beginning and end to this part of the story, you know what I mean? Even if it's, like, part three of a, a bigger story. But oftentimes, there's just, there's just so much cliffhanger, so much, like, you had to have read the book before it to understand anything. And even if, even with a recap, it's, it's I don't know. There's, uh, I mean, <laughs> so that's my review of the comic book industry. Uh, but I haven't... I, can I... What am I doing here? Um, can't jump on that. If I press A, do I jump higher? Doesn't... Oh, that, yeah, I guess I do. Okay. You just gotta time it, right? I don't know why Timmy couldn't have walked around the bus, but, you know, I guess it makes... That hydrant. <laughs> Is this gonna hurt me? No, it's just an obstacle. Um, it does kind of make sense for this to be 2D because we're in a comic book. That's actually cool. Oh, there's nothing over here. Alright. Gonna ride the Pac-Man down B. Um, but yeah, that, I mean, that's just my opinion on comics. I haven't got, I haven't purchased a comic in ages, so... I don't know, maybe they changed some things. I'm not, I'm not claiming that this is like a super informed opinion. This is just my experience. Hey, aren't you cleft? Glad to see you again. <laughs> is he laughing at me or no sir I'm not cleft I'm stage clear damn it there's no time for that the city's on fire <laughs> my name is cleft the boy chin wonder and I come from the real world can I be your partner what come on don't you see the town's on fire I can help you Left. It's too dangerous. Stay away. Lego Batman, Fairly Odd Parents Edition. So do I get a new password? Yeah, I do. Okay. So it is safe. Well, by saving, I mean like you know counting progress. I would have assumed there would have been like a star or something near every completed level, but sure. Lego Batman's a very good movie. <laughs> just, just thought I'd throw that out there. I mean, I guess it's it's related. Sure. It, uh, it recently came out on Blu-ray, and I didn't get it yet, but I saw a clip of it in a store, and God, I, I, I gotta get that movie. I gotta buy it, because it's just, like, I watched it, I think I only went once in theaters. I meant to see it twice, but I didn't get around to it, and, um, oh, so that makes our water powers make sense, because we now use them to, no, we don't use them to put out fires? Okay, well, never mind, that makes even less sense. Do I, can I? No, okay. That, so those are obstacles. A little hard to tell if they were in the foreground or background. Uh, let's go in this building first. You can never tell which way is like the right way to go and which way is the optional way. You don't want to miss out on the optional way. Oh, crud. I really should use my megaphone more. Oh, so that restores a lot of my health. So is this the right way or... Ow. Hmm. Oh, well. I mean, what would I be missing out on? I, I guess maybe like a one-up or... Um, oh, the gum sticks them in place, I guess. 
or extra crowns or something, which I'd like to get, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not like I'm collecting Crimson Shin cards. Um, oh, so Le Lego Batman, yeah. Uh, it really is the type of movie that, like... So I, w I was, like, watching it in a store while I was waiting for someone, and it was on mute. And... Oh, God. And, like, I was enjoying myself because that dog just ran to the fire. Even though I couldn't hear the dialogue, I could still enjoy, like, the amazing visuals. And there's so much detail put into the backgrounds. It's crazy. It, it reminded me of, um... Uh, what is it? Um, it's a Spongebob Christmas in that... <laughs> Did I say Christmas? It's a Spongebob Christmas. What, what is this, like, the, the alien Xenu that they all bow down to or something? Or is that supposed to be a human? Alright. Um, <laughs> anyway. But yeah, it reminds me of It's a Spongebob Christmas in the fact that... It's just... When you have something that's so detailed in the background, it makes me want to rewatch it again and again and again. Just because, like... You're always seeing something new. There's there's always a, a background character that says something funny or even a line that you missed because, especially in the first, like, 15 minutes of the movie, there's just a lot of action going on. So it's very easy to miss one of Joker's quips. Uh, okay, so we have the megaphone, the gyro. Or we don't have the gyro. Let's buy the gyro. The gyro. Actually, we have 80. Let's buy an extra life. <laughs> Explanation. How does it work? Add one more life. All right. <laughs> So that means I'll have exactly one life. Get it? <laughs> Ooh, sweet. I'm definitely enjoying this game thus far. Very simple, but fun. The uh, the environments are, are pretty interesting. There's that alien again. Oh, yeah, I'm invincible. What am I doing? Ooh, a steak. Hmm. I love running into people's people's burning houses and taking their steaks. Hey man, it's already cooked. So where exactly is the Oh god! Is the Crimson Shin while while his his young ward that he claimed is too dangerous for is is running into fires. <laughs> you think if Timmy dies in the in the comic he'll die in real life? <laughs> I don't know. It's always kind of weird how comic... Oh, what's this? It... Okay. Well, did that give me a bunch of wands or an extra life? or I don't really know what that gave me, but sure. The, co the comic was ripped there. Oh, and we're over. Which way are we even going, man? I'm so confused now. Speaking of being ripped, Dr. Rip Studwell. <laughs> did I, Dr. Rip Studwell? have to go golfing. This is the episode with Cosmos for, G for Giggly Gland. <laughs> and I think Anti-Cosmo was in that one too. He had to get a transplant or something. Weird, yeah. Oop. Come on. Oh. Yeah, I would love just a little more range on that. But I guess, you know what, I should... Oh, never mind. I was going to say I should use my megaphone, but... So you followed me. What a reckless boy you are. <laughs> you survived a burning building. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so I guess those other guys weren't the bronze kneecap. They were his minions. That makes sense. I guess they're all the, the characters' minions. Ah, crud. Chef. <laughs> Chef. Cleft hits a trap. It's a trap. Hey, what are you doing? Let the Crimson Chin go. The bronze kneecap. I will set him free if you come to my new hideout alone. Spatula woman. I was right. I'll wait for you, little kid. Country boy. Don't get scared on the way, boy. He may be your father, but he ain't your daddy. Um. Uh, uh, Crimson Chin, don't lose hope. I'll go and set you free. I won't say what that's from. Oh, so I got the crown. Okay. Maybe the crown lets me do the boss fight or something? I don't know. I won't say what that, that quote was from because I don't want to spoil anything. 
stage one four. Eh. Okay, yeah, let me use the megaphone. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Oh, so I guess it works the same way in this game. I guess that's just the logic of a lot of um, these, these like, uh, 2D games that I didn't really pick up on with the SpongeBob game. It's just that if you don't kill an enemy, if an enemy just falls to their death or, or some other, or just goes off the screen, they'll they'll respawn where they were. But if you, if you straight up just murder them in cold blood, then you know what happens to them, you know? If you see them fall off the cliff, but you don't actually see them fall off the cliff, then they're probably still alive, because it's a comic book. So it's Country Boy Spatula Woman um, and the Bronze Kneecap. Oh, God, that's death. I would like a little bit different music, not gonna lie. This feels a little mundane and a little repetitive. Hopefully it'll change in the next world. Or maybe this will be the only song in the entire game, <laughs> for all I know. Alright, let's get us a one, uh, Cosmo. I ran out of things to say. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed that dead silence while we were invincible. Well, not dead silence, but... Ooh, cheese. I mean, uh, I, w I was letting you guys enjoy the wonderful um, invincibility music, obviously. Alright, yeah, let's... Cool! Ooh, it's a one-up up there. How do I... Oh, is it like a... Oh, I don't have the whirly gig thing. Do I? Yeah, you probably just need the the hover thing. Oh well. Cool. <laughs> it doesn't sound like Timmy in the slightest. I shouldn't have killed that guy. So are these guys just like wandering around uh, Cincinnati, just like chilling, waiting for Clef or the Crimson Chin to pop up or something? And what's with all these runaway dogs? Let's see what the uh, the bat does. Oh, it's just a. What's the range on this? Oh, I shouldn't waste it. It's not that far. So it's really not that good, to be honest with you, because it's even less range than my main attack. But I guess it's strong. I don't know. The the megaphone was pretty good. I wonder if I could deflect those pigs back at him. Hmm. <laughs> That's an odd sentence. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yep, so we're out of our special powers now. Yeah, I definitely want to get more of the megaphone, not the bat, and then having uh, having one of the copter things would be very useful. That's nice, too, because if there's any platforming sections that are particularly hard or tedious, I could just kind of use that, you know? Is this like an ashtray dumpster thing back here? Hmm. I do like the um, the little comic book dots that are in some parts of the background, but not all of them. Ow, all of them. Okay, so I can do the dash, but it's a melee attack, so it's a little difficult. Because most of the enemies throw stuff at you. This guy doesn't. He's just... I don't know. He, <laughs> he just does his thing. Uh, so yeah, let's buy... Oh, wait. Uh... Yeah, let's buy the gyro. Unfortunately, you can only get one item at a time here, but I like this system. It's cool. It keeps gameplay a little little varied. Kind of similar to the, the stuff in Super Sponge, although you didn't buy that stuff, and you could only have, like, one at a time. I don't actually know the year on this game. I don't know if it came out before or after breaking the rules. Ooh, cred. If I, di I didn't mention it at the beginning, I don't think I did, but this is also another one, as you saw at the beginning, it's another one of that four-pack that I have, if you if you watch the Super Sponge videos. Uh, I have a four-pack of Game Boy Advance games that are Nickelodeon-based. They I don't know why, but THQ did this, I guess maybe to, to just get more sales by making it just like a super value pack. Like, I would, I would not have paid 30 bucks or whatever retail Game Boy Advance game was for just Super Sponge, but for the four of these games, maybe. 
The other two games on here that we haven't played are Freeze Frame Frenzy, which is a Nicktoons game, as in a game that's like a Nick Nickelodeon crossover, like in the same vein as um, Nicktoons Unite, although very different gameplay mechanics, same kind of uh, line of games technically. It's like a spin-off, or maybe it came even before that, but it, it, it belongs to the whole like Nicktoons type thing. Whereas Super Sponge was obviously just SpongeBob, and this is just Fairly Odd Parents. And then the last, oh god, ah, oh, we gotta start at the beginning. Crud. The last game on here is, and I have played Fr Freeze Frame Frenzy. I, f I, I have played Freeze Frame Frenzy. Oh, I keep my power. That's cool. Uh, I have, I, I played it for like a, oh god, ah. For like a minute or two just to just to kind of see what it was about see if it would be something worth let's playing and it's either something I'm gonna let's play or stream I don't know it could get kind of repetitive but with these Game Boy Advance games I've kind of I've learned to just I mean this is only the second one I'm playing on the, here but my plan is just to kind of make it more about the commentary maybe because not that these games aren't fun but they are they're very simplistic and and kind of repetitive by nature and and short so uh, I definitely like playing them, and I definitely like showing them off because they're definitely less known than their their GameCube and PlayStation 2 counterparts and Wii version counter. Although I guess by the Wii version it'd be the DS games. I don't know why I shot him when I could have just ran into him. But uh, but yeah, I I do know going in that I kind of have to make the co oh god make the commentary interesting, <clears throat> and hopefully I'm doing that. I'm not not quite sure. Right, but yeah, the last game on there is <laughs> Rocket Power, and I have oh right, Invincible. I have no idea what that one's like. It could be, <clears throat> excuse me, it could be just a like a a skateboard game where like you know you do tricks on your skateboard, you go up and down half pipes, and like that's the whole game. Or it could be like a a, a platformer like. Kind of like, or it, I mean, it could be like an action platformer like this game. I think that's what you classify this because it's it has platforming, but it's mostly about attacking the enemies, but you're still side-scrolling. Oh, God. Uh, or it could be more of just a straight-up platformer like SpongeBob, or it could be just something entirely different that I can't even imagine. And since there is... Oh, let's... Uh, woo. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way to get up here. Hmm, neat. Um, since there isn't... Actually, I don't know. Is there any home console rocket power games? I think there might be an N64. No, no, it wouldn't be an N64 game. It would be a GameCube game. There might be one. I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll definitely play all four games on this cartridge at some point or another. I'm still trying to kind of work out... Excuse me, Timmy. Work out where to... Like, where to play these games in terms of the context of the rest of the games that I'm playing. You know, if that makes any sense. Like, I tried doing the Super Sponge Let's Play. I did that just in the middle of the Break into Rules one. I, I broke up the rules. I broke up Break into Rules by, uh, by using that. And people were a little confused by that. And a little... I, I get, You know, I mean, it makes sense because I'd never done anything like that before. I'd only ever just played the game straight on through. But, um... But it was only for two parts. It's not like I was like, you know, here, let's stop this Let's Play for, like, another Let's Play that's, like, 50 parts... Oh, man. 50 parts long or something. Um, but yeah, people weren't crazy about that. Uh, the plan actually was to do it every other day, just to, to mix it in a little bit. But since it was only two parts, I decided to just release both at once. Or not at once, but, you know, one 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 day and one the next day. Uh, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it would be... Oh, man, this guy's hard to hit. Well, hard to, hard to get up on his platform here. Another way to do it is like this, where I just upload all parts, because I'm... I'm not mixing this in with another Let's Play. I'm just going to upload all parts and then start on the next big Let's Play. Oh, God. And another way, yet another way to do it would be... Um, so, yeah, I could I could either like put it all up in between one Let's Play. Like, in the middle of it, I could put all of it up in between big game Let's Plays, like I'm doing now. Or I could, like, do every other day. I'll have a like a Game, game Boy Advance ooh, game and then a GameCube or Wii game. I could do that. I don't know. Let me know what you think and how you prefer it to be. Um, I mean, I might just... I'm probably just going to experiment around with it and see see what I like doing. Uh, 
what what is very nice about these platforming or action platformer games is that because of the nature of them because they are kind of linear it's it's easier for me to, oh god i'm gonna die uh let's take this out then it's like it's easy for me to do one of these episodes because i pretty much know that like even if i get stuck it's not too bad i can always um I can always just kind of grind at it until I get through it. Whereas with, like, a GameCube game, if I'm missing something, like like that Crimson Chin card, like, I didn't know. It could have taken me, a, like, an hour to to have to go back and then get the Crimson Chin card and then, like, to find it. And then I'd have to record the rest of the episode as well. So it, it's one of those things where I might just put these Game Boy Advance game episodes in wherever, like, for Let's Plays that... Episodes that might take me more than a day, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes recording a part might take a little longer than a day because of editing and, and um, you know, or, or backtracking and hunting stuff down that I'm not necessarily showing all on camera. I mean, I could, another, another option is I could just upload all of it, literally all of it at once, you know, if, like, I could have uploaded Super Sponge's one long, like, hour and 40 minute video. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh, God. I mean, I wouldn't do that with, like, something that went on for, you know, three or four hours. But if it was only a two-part Let's Play, I could have just made it one part. All right, we'll give this another attempt here. And then if I can't do it, I'll maybe I'll cut. I definitely want to get done with this chapter in this video. Or this, uh, yeah, this whole first area. A lot of it is kind of learning how the enemies move and attack basically like learning their patterns and stuff because it's it's not it's not hard it's just uh i, th I think it's honestly thus far is it's like a good amount of challenge where it's it's doable but it's still it's a challenge it is you got to know when to jump on a platform when an enemy's gonna like get you you know if that, if that makes any sense like jumping onto a platform with an enemy throwing stuff at you you got to time it to to jump on the platform right and then time when when you're going to attack correctly it's also annoying that you couldn't see the ground there until you kind of go down so you'd have really very little way of knowing that that's just a dead drop because it doesn't really look like one <laughs> wow he waits he waits until ah oh, until i was in range to shoot my attack before shooting his what a monster that guy's the most annoying of them all right let's get our free man Free man. I don't know. I'd say it like AJ from Power Mad every time. I think that's how he says it in that episode. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making this up in my head. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen that episode. I wonder how many Crimson Chin episodes of the show were out at the time of this. It could have just been... Because it seems to be based upon the... Oh, God. The first episode where Timmy first becomes Clef. I think, uh, which one is the first episode with the Crimson Chin where he, uh, he, he gets fat and, and he's out of shape and stuff. I'm not quite sure if there's one before that. I'm not up on my, my timeline, my, my fairly odd parents timeline. I like the one where it's, it's like Catman versus the Crimson Chin. I mean, it made sense to do it, right? It's like two, two, uh, kind of like comic book superheroes running around in Dimsdale. Although one, one of them is purely fictional, but Timmy has interacted with him, and the other one is is an actor that played a fictional superhero. It only makes sense that they'd cross over at some point. And I think at that point he was still being played by Adam West, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, isn't there also? Which episode is the one where there's, like, all the edgy Crimson Chin characters that Timmy wishes back into the comic book? Hmm. That might be the big superhero wish, actually. I can't remember. I don't even remember if he was in the big superhero wish. I feel like he should be. Uh, Crimson Chin, by the way. That, that's what I'm talking about, not Catman. I know Catman wasn't in that one. I don't know when they when they first did the Catman thing, but uh, it was pretty funny. Of course, rest in peace, Adam West. The Fairly Odd Parents is honestly, um, I guess we'll try out the skateboard. The The Fairly Odd Parents is definitely where I knew Adam West from. I mean, I, I've seen, 
A few years ago, but this was after the Philly Odd Parents, I did see the 60s Batman movie, and it's hilarious. It is honestly great, but I think the first thing that I ever really saw him in was the Philly Odd Parents. Like, I had heard of him, obviously. I know who he is, but I knew who he is, but, you know, I. There wasn't, before Netflix, there really wasn't, like, an easy way to, to watch any of the 60s Batman. And I don't, I don't think it is on Netflix, but the movie was for at least a while. So that's how I was introduced to it. I know they released, like, the whole series on DVD or something, and maybe someday I'll, I'll get it. Because if it's anything like the movie, it's, it's funny, man. A lot of people think that, like, oh, God, like, the movie is silly, but, like, oh, that's just the 1960s or, you know, whatever. That's just the 70s. That's just how they... They rolled, but no, 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 no. A lot of the silliness, like the um, was the bat shark repellent, like that's intentionally humorous in the movie. That it's not like one of those things that like they were playing it straight. I don't know. I think I think some people some people think that like that's like the '60s Batman was like playing Batman straight or something. And no, God, no, it was not. It was definitely intentionally hammy, even for the time. <laughs> do 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 do. Just ah, oh, I didn't mean to run there. And say, doo -doo 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 -doo. just gonna walk to my to my death here, dudes. Apparently, this heart man is played by Seuss. Oh, I'm in a comic book, dudes. Gotta love Seuss and Doctor Seuss too, I guess. Well, maybe not. I wasn't uh, actually. No, I shouldn't say anything. I <laughs> I shouldn't get my information from Reddit. I remember hearing something like Doctor Seuss like wrote I don't know weird like political comics that were like very anti. Uh, someone so some group but I can't quite remember the details of that so I shouldn't okay so I can't buy more of them well I can I can but not until they run out okay so instead I'll just what is a power recovery explanation recovers cleft power uh, yeah no I guess it means the power-ups or something oh I already have the skateboard all right well we'll get do I have everything? I don't have the baseball bat. I guess I'll buy the power recovery. Why not, right? Oh, no, I don't have enough. Oops. So... So I, I just can't buy anything, then. It's the, it's the long and short of this. It's a waste of time. All right. What does a skateboard do? Woohoo! Oh, it doesn't make me invincible. It just makes me fast. Then what's the point? <laughs> Oh, oh god. I only come up to his kneecap. That's probably not a good thing. Welcome to my hideout, Cleft. I will release the Crimson Shin as promised. But first, you need to show me the comic book that brought you here. Cleft doesn't hesitate as he hands over the comic book to the bronze kneecap. Timmy, don't negotiate with terrorists. Just as I thought. This comic book is filled with pictures of the real world. Cosmo, Wanda, what does he mean? It's the complete opposite. The book has real world pictures instead of the comic world. Country boy, spatula woman. Come to the real world with me and we will rule it. Cleft, we have to get back to the real world. Can't we just wish away the comic book out of their hands? Yes, we have to cap- Oh, I guess they're gone now. We have to capture those villains and send them back to the comic world. But where's the Crimson Chin? Alright, so that is, uh, let me make sure I look at this password here and have it saved on the, on the video recording. But, uh, that is the first world. So, yeah. We will, uh, continue onwards with this game probably tomorrow. With that, Pie Guy Rules, out.